Hey, welcome to Good Life. Good Life? Welcome to Midlife Good Life. I'm Tim and this is Susan. One of the reasons we started Good Life Midlife because every once in a while we Mid just life, had a good life. Every once in a while we just had a funny story that we wanted to tell. So today we had some errands to run this afternoon. So we got in the car. And why don't you take it from here? Well, I think you have to back up. First, when we were in Lafayette earlier today. Maybe yeah, I was going to get to that. And, oh, I told it backwards. Go ahead. Well, anyhow. You get in the car. We open the trunk or open the back door, uh, back car door, and there was like one of those little green frogs. And when I say little green frogs in Louisiana, that's known as a little pea frog because when they hop on you, they pee. I thought it's because they were the same color as the vegetable pea. No. Oh. And so... I saw it in the door and I was like, oh, shoo, shoo, it's getting in the door. So we like shoot it away, but it just got in the crack between the two doors. Okay. So this afternoon when we go to run some errands, you open the door, get in the car. I forgot that there was ever a frog there and I slam the door shut and the frog goes and jumps down and lands on my arm. And your reaction to that was? <laughs> I screamed bloody murder. Like I screamed like a little girl and a little boy and a grown woman and a grown man all at the same time. I'm not sure how f seven different live television stations did not pull up into our driveway with the curdling sound of that scream. When I think about it, <laughs> it still gives me like the shivers and I could scream all over again. It just went like down on my arm. Like I guess it came from, I don't know, wherever the door slammed and then it just came down. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was gross. It's I, gross. And then I screamed. And then when I screamed, I threw it and it landed on the door, which I'd already closed. So I was stuck in the car with it, like inches away from it. And it had already been on me once. And you were like, just open the door. Well, it was on the door handle door. I could not open the door. I was stuck. I nearly went like through the seats to the back seat. Like, And my comment was with that scream yeah you have to leave some room at the top of the scream threshold for an axe murderer you left no room for absolute trauma and a band of terrorists or anything like that it's the frog that there's no room left you have to leave some room at the top axe murder is never going to happen frog is a legit thing that happens <laughs> so therefore you don't have to scream like it's the end of the world I'm going to put frogs on you while you're sleeping it's not going to bother you not really snakes I'm going to put a snake I'm going to put a snake if there had been a snake that landed on you you would have screamed like a sissy girl yeah you would have you would have been like ah! I was really loud Hell, the one thing is there was also the duration of your scream. It was really that was a really was... long. I'm telling you, my snake scream won't last that long because I won't be in the same zip code that long. It was. I screamed. I screamed. So I screamed. Yes. There were these and kids. Then there were these you kids. You came around and said, "Open the door," and I was like, nah! "I didn't want to move." And you went around and then you opened the door. And the only thing is, it was facing inside, and I was pretty sure that it was going to jump back in the car. So I took. Uh, I don't even know what I had. My phone? It wasn't my phone. I wasn't going to touch it with my phone. My, my, I took my shoe off. I don't remember. And I went like whoosh and got it out. And it nearly landed on you as I got it out of the car, which means it also would be, remember, this is a pee frog, which means it would pee on you when it landed. They're gross. It was very heroic of you the way you handled that. It was. I saved it. I saved you from having the frog land on you. So there were these kids riding around in a golf cart, and just as this happened, they turned and made the block moving away from our house. They did? And as I circled back to get the door open, they had turned around and were coming back to our house. I think they're like, what on earth I didn't was know that? that? We've never actually witnessed an axe murdering before. Let's go watch this. 
axe murdering pea frog. So <laughs> he had like a little hatchet. He was gonna get me. So when you're done watching this video, subscribe below and then Google and see whether some kids on a golf cart have a video posted about axe murderer down the street or something like that. Somehow I think you were really making fun of me. <laughs> I also think there's also a really good chance that there is a YouTube video called axe murderer down the street and you probably shouldn't Google it. No, I also think there's probably a YouTube video called pea frogs jump on me. Ah! All right. Watch our video, Google around, see what other videos are out there on YouTube. And really, comment below and tell us that y'all know who you're out there. You know all the ladies and guys and gentlemen and boys and girls who really, really hate those little frogs that jump on you. I think my scream was nothing compared to some of y'all out there. It's true. Now Ross is going to comment below and tell us how he raises pea frogs for fun. He lives not in Louisiana. I have serious doubts that he has horrible experiences with pea frogs. All right. They're part of life here. So. Well, if you're not currently under attack from a horde or single pea frog, enjoy one another. One. Yeah, go enjoy each other. We, we do. do.